Xitoyning Uxan shahri rasmiylari 2019-yilning dekabrida yangi kasallik holatlari haqida ma'lum qilishdi. O'shandan beri olimlar yangi koronavirusni yaqindan o'rganib keladi. Ammo ko'plab savol hanuz o'z javobini topgani yo'q. COVID-19 boshida gripga o'xshash nafas olish yo'llari kasalligi o'laroq ko'rildi. Ammo kasallik og'ir kechgan bemorlarda miya, yurak, buyrak hamda oshqozon ichak trakti ham kasallanishi kuzatilmoqda. Ayrim bemorlarda esa qon quyilishi va natijada insult va yurak xuruji sodir bo'lishi mumkin. We're seeing high propensities of stroke. We're seeing clots in in dialysis things. We're seeing clots everywhere. High rates of clots in the veins and the legs. We're still learning so much about COVID. We don't absolutely understand everything by far. Whether or not the clotting is a symptom of a of something fundamentally going wrong with the lining of the blood vessel, or or whether the clotting is is the primary thing, it's without doubt causing a lot of the problems we're seeing. We've even seen young patients who've shown up at the hospital where having a stroke was their first presenting symptom of having the COVID, um, COVID-19 disease. Shuningdek, ayrim bemorlarda ensefalit, miya yallig'lanishi kuzatilmoqda. Hozircha virusning qon aylanishiga ta'siri boshqa alomatlarni keltirib chiqarayotgani yoki virus organlarga to'g'ridan-to'g'ri hujum qilayotgani noma'lum. Umuman olganda, voyaga yetmaganlarga solishtirganda bolalar COVID-19 infeksiyasidan ozroq aziyat chekmoqda. So it does seem from what we know now that children are less capable of spreading it even if they get the infection and certainly are at very low risk of getting ill from the disease. Ammo bolalar orasida virus muayyan kasallikni keltirib chiqargan holatlar kuzatildi. Shifokorlar COVID-19 bolalarda keltirib chiqarayotgani aytilayotgan illatni ko'p tizimli pediatrlik yallig'lanish sindromi deb nomlashdi. They're presenting with this what we call an inflammatory syndrome that's associated with high fevers, um, a rash, uh, oftentimes some abdominal discomfort, some vomiting, things like that and an ill appearance. And the reason they're coming to the ICU is they're also in shock. Ushbu sindrom juda oz uchraydi va uning COVID-19 ga aloqasi to'liq ravshan emas. Mavjud nazariyalarning biriga ko'ra, ayrim bolalarda koronavirusga keskin immun reaksiya sodir bo'ladi. Infeksiya asosan yo'talganda hamda aksirganda chiqariladigan tomchilar orqali yoki nafas olganda va so'zlaganda tarqaladigan mayda zarrachalar orqali tarqalishi hanuz noma'lum. To'plangan yangi dalillar tezkor tarqaluvchi holatlar deb nomlanuvchi infeksiya to'dalari borligini ko'rsatdi. Tadqiqotlarning biriga ko'ra, virusga chalinish holatlarining 80 foiziga bemorlarning 20 foizi sababchidir. Bunga ayrim bemorlar virusni ko'proq tarqatishi, muayyan ish joylari yoki ijtimoiy sharoitlar sababchi ekanligi noma'lum. COVID-19 yangi kasallik bo'lgani uchun uning uzoq muddatli ta'siri haqida ma'lumot yo'q. Ayrim bemorlar tuzalib ketganidan keyin bir necha hafta davomida xolsizlik hamda havo yetishmasligidan aziyat chekadi. As a result of this COVID-19 pandemic, we will have a large group of survivors that have an array of complications that range from the respiratory system, so the lungs, um, to psychological issues uh, related to recovering from an acute illness. The exact percentage of COVID-19 survivors that develop these complications and the long-term prognosis uh, remains unclear but hopefully over time we'll better learn that and better characterize it. Aqui seria o refeitório. Sun'i nafas olish moslamasiga ulanish qo'shimcha risk omilidir. Omon qolgan bemorlarning o'pkasi va buyragiga shikast yetgan bo'lishi mumkin. Virusga chalingan bemorlarning immun tizimi koronavirusga qarshi kurashuvchi antitanalarni ishlab chiqaradi. Ammo antitanalar qancha uzoq yashashi yoki bemorni virusga qayta chalinishdan saqlay olish olmasligi bizga ma'lum emas. Tuzalib ketgan bemorlarga ijtimoiy masofa saqlash tavsiyasiga amal qilmasa ham bo'ladi deyishga hali erta. It is almost certainly going to be the case that you're not immune for life. So an immunity passport today based on an antibody test does not guarantee that in 3 4 5 years time you're still immune. Immunitet davomiyligi esa vaksina qancha muddatga kishini himoyalay olishini belgilaydi. COVID-19 infeksiyasining boshqa ko'plab jihatlari kabi bu savolga aniq javob topish uchun ko'proq vaqt va tadqiqot talab qilinadi.